The two restaurant operators in Tanjung Sepat, whose premises were demolished on June 16, have submitted to the Kuala Langat District Council their applications for temporary lots to do business again. The MCA Youth's Legal Bureau helped them with their applications on Wednesday, a day before their deadline. Uh, we hope that uh, YB In Yong can give the approval within seven days from today or the date of the vacation, i.e. yesterday. Lah. There has full knowledge about the background of the assisting traders and some of this case has gone to High Court. So we believe seven days is enough for them to consider whether approve or not approve the application. And if let's say after seven days they still couldn't make decision, then we will come back again to this building for the next course of action. Ng said the livelihood of the operators and their workers were affected since the demolition and the temporary location was necessary for them to make a living. He also questioned the rationale of the Selangor government to demolish the restaurants because the restaurant operator's refusal to move out had caused the delay in the jetty remedial works there. He said the jetty was already completed and the restaurants were not a hindrance as they were located farther away. Authorities said the demolition was to make way for a food court and jetty remedial works.